What I thought hospice was all about was about people that were at their last part of their life, dying either of cancer or of disease of sort. I learned that it does a lot more than just the caring of someone dying. My husband's condition is uh, neuropathy, and he's blind to one eye, and he has dementia. And the doctor suggested that I call hospice, which I thought was dreadful, and also capital caring, which is part of hospice. I did, and I found out that there was so much that I couldn't even imagine to help me with his conditions. Who thought of all of these things that are needed, like meals brought into my home, and they're delicious meals. He loves them. <laughs> and having the doctor come in where I don't have to take him out, and it's easier for him to, to, to get around because he doesn't have to walk those long hallways at hospitals and, and from car to, to the doctor's office. So I can't tell you how I am so pleased and happy with, with Capital Caring helping me to help him. My two nurses' daughter-in-law said, you went to hospice? I said, yes, they, they, their help, they thought the same thing I did, that it was kind of the end of life, but it's not. It's kind of the beginning and the end. It's, it's helpful to start a new beginning of treatment and caring and things that you need that you don't even know you need and the end, you need support and it's there. The support, the caring of, of people like me, the caregiver, and for him. The nurses, the doctors that come in, they're so gracious and helpful and caring. And I think Capital Caring is a good name for the company because capital, we live in the capital city and caring is what they do. Do you want to thank them? Do you want to thank Capital Caring? Uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by and <laughs> yeah. listening to you and <laughs> as I listen to you. <laughs> for, for how yeah, many years? Sure. How many years? <laughs> hundred? Uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right? A lot. How about 60? Wow. Yeah, 60. 60 years.